Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at the new news app in iOS 9. Now, this is now available for us in the UK, it was previously only available in the US but now it's made its way to the UK, I'm just going to take a look at the main features of the app. Now you need to be running iOS 9 for this and I believe iOS 9.1, I'm not sure about this, I'm currently using a beta so um, things can obviously change by the time iOS 9 is released and that is 16th of September so if you want to get iOS 9 be sure to get it on the 16th of September but anyway the news app is a new addition to the iOS um, you know apps that come installed on your iPad and Apple um, did say that they've been wanting to do, to do this for a while and they finally added it in iOS 9 so when you update your iPad to the latest version of the software you will notice that there is a news icon on your iPad or iOS device home screen and however hard you now try searching for newsstand you won't find it as that's now been removed and replaced with the new news app which is much cleaner and has been built from the ground up for iOS 9 so I'm just going to tap on it here and I've already set it up essentially when you first time launching the app you will get a screen just asking you to select your um, magazines and publishers you'd like to follow but anyway so this for you tab that I'm on so as you see at the bottom we've got our five tabs here and I'm just going to go for each of them so the first tab for you is essentially an amalgamation of new stories based on what you're signed up for so this is sort of similar to Apple Music if you know what I mean if you've used Apple Music before um, essentially just um, collects bits of information from all your different sources of news and it just puts them into this for you screen you can just scroll through your news and if you find a um, story that you want to um, view just click on it and sorry not click tap on it and it will just open and you can just read the news story and if I just go back I can tap and hold to bring up additional options so I can share the story just by clicking here and it will come up with um, my share sheet I can save it. I'm just going to do this now and I'll first later demo. Save and I can like it if I want to as well. So I'll just like it and I can, um, it's just a sort of a way of liking things. So next I'm going to take a look at the favorites tab down here. So it's the second tab. And this essentially is just all the different publications that you're signed up for. So if you want to um, browse through your news based on the different publications that you have then you can obviously use that and if you click the edit button in the top right hand corner you can move them around um, it's not exactly working at the moment I didn't I found this the app doesn't completely work but you can move them around and you can just delete them so if, say if I don't want the nanotechnology I literally just tap delete and it will just delete the publication obviously I can bring it back if I want to by finding it um, that's essentially how you remove or yeah so essentially just remove or edit your items from your newsfeed the next tab at the bottom so the third tab middle tab in the um, so at the bottom is explore now essentially this is like Apple music where you can um, the iPad will actually suggest to you some publications based on what you already follow so people who you already follow so it suggest you some channels, it's basically publications, you can just swipe through them and choose one. So say if I want to subscribe to Mac Rumors, there's a little plus icon, I can just tap on it and now that's saved to my um, magazine. So if I go to favourites, you can see Mac Rumors is now here. And I can just go through, I'll choose a few more Apple sites here. I'll get CNET if I want to. I can just choose all my different types of publications so that's essentially that um, if you go down a bit there's some suggested topics now this is different this is essentially just categories as you'd find in say the app store with different categories of apps so I can perhaps add mobile phones oh, I can add mobile phones entertainment as you saw if I just add these two these yeah, those two if I tap on one it would just go into it and give me some stories based on that category so now I'm going to go back and at the bottom here you'll see I have all the different categories that are listed here so if I wanted some science I can go straight into there and it will give me more in-depth topics based on science 
and here I've got food I can go in and you'll see all the different topics and feature channels as well as some more in-depth topics based on that um, main topic so I can from the food menu go into vegetarian cuisine and look at the various news items in there as you there you go and if I want to I can just add this to my favorites and it's now added it I'm just going to unfavorite that and I can just um, navigate through my um, publishers like that down here we've got search which is essentially for if you know what you're searching for then you can um, search for that so as you go see here we've got some examples so I'm just going to type in one of them um, Mike Tomlin it says there um, hopefully it will come up with something here we go so we've got top hits I can just click on one it'll just show me some content from that publisher here we go and obviously I can add it to my favorites or um, search for something else and once I find what I want I can just add it and just keep building up my portfolio of publishers that I follow now at the end the last tab we've got saved now this is what I was showing you earlier and as you may have seen I saved an article and this is where you'll find all your saved articles so essentially you can save articles and um, have them there for later viewing now I'm not sure whether this is available for offline viewing I have to test that out however you can slide across um, like sort of flick it to de to delete it or you can obviously as in other iOS apps you can completely slice swipe across to delete a, a article if you saved and we've got history here so I can view my um, I can view my access sorry I can access all my history which will basically show all my previously read articles I can clear history by clicking at the top or I can just obviously just dismiss individual articles if I don't want to get rid of everything and that's essentially the news app like the main sort of bulk of the actual app um, if I just go into a story here um, I've got my options I can like it from up here and I can save it straight from here I can also share it and obviously just read through it and if it requires a website like this one it says read full story I just swipe up it will essentially just take me straight to the website so I don't have to go ahead and open Safari I can just do it straight with it from within the news app which is a very nice feature and yeah that's essentially the actual news app itself now there are some preferences in the settings app which I'm going to show you now so in case you want to customize your experience you can do that so just go into settings and you'll want to scroll down until you reach where it says news and you're going to want to tap on that now here we've got the options that you have and at the top you can set your notification preferences so you can just go in and change the type of notifications that you want and essentially you'll just get notifications when news articles come out and you can obviously um, act on the notifications to go straight to the stories or read later or, or what have you um, we can turn on background app refresh or turn it off so if you want to save battery life obviously you turn it off however if you're a heavy user of the news app then obviously you want to have that turned on and we do have the option to allow the app access to mobile data or cellular data as it's referred to over here and of course if you're on a Wi-Fi only iPad this won't appear because you don't have cellular connectivity but I have a cellular iPad so I do have it so if I want to limit the amount of data I use so perhaps I don't want to go for my data limit I can turn it off just for this app and it won't refresh in the background when I'm using mobile data and it won't let me use the app on mobile data I have to be connected to Wi-Fi so that's something that's there and down here we've just got some documents you know containing privacy policies and some acknowledgements from Apple just um, relating to some of the you know the legal stuff that Apple tend to put with their apps but anyway that's basically news on the new iOS 9 software so obviously if you have any questions or comments in this video do put them down below and do send me an email get in contact with me in any other way and you can use the details up at the end of the video or in the description if you prefer um, do be sure to upgrade to iOS 9 when it comes out on September the 16th and I will obviously keep you up to date if there are any major new software updates on iOS 9 or iOS 10 El Capitan 
so be sure to check out the channel and if you want to um, stay in contact with when I upload new videos do be sure to hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video but anyway thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video